Welcome you to another interesting edition of the program Dialogue, reaching you from the leaks from the stables of liberty. The name remains Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader. Well, pardon me, the voice is a little bit uh, bad. It has to do with coat. But then, it is the season, you will see. One of the issues that is generating a lot of heat is the uh, National Water Resource Bill 2020. Also, people will say, well, resource, I mean, National Water Resource Bill 2018. This bill was first introduced to the 8th National Assembly, but at the end of the day, it was thrown out. Now, it is reintroduced again and even passed first reading in the House of Representatives. But then, there have been a lot of antagonists and protagonists to the issues. But more, the voices of the antagonists are the ones that are being heard. What are the issues in Bill B? What are, why are people antagonizing it? Why do some people actually feel that um, it is a ruga in another means? I mean, there are a lot of issues around this, and it is what we shall be looking at today. The name is Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kadra, and I have already seated in the studio a water engineer who has crisscrossed uh, Nigeria, who actually will be doing justice to that, talking about Engineer Musa Idrus. Engineer, good to have you here with us. Thank you, Abdullah. All right. Good morning, viewers. Let me also say, I mean, the bill is start and act to establish a regulatory framework for the water resource, uh, resources sector in Nigeria, provide for the equitable and sustainable development, management, use, and conservation of Nigeria's surface water and groundwater resources, and for related matters, among others. Engineer, let's start. I mean, one will be asking, why should we be having this bill? At this time? Well, uh, let's go straight to the issue that uh, people will quickly understand. Okay. Uh, it's rather unfortunate uh, that um, uh, what we would say uh, the bill was, was rushed and eventually. Yeah, by the House of Representatives. Yeah, by the House of Representatives. And we that has been, been gazetted, you know. Yes. And uh, issues came up. Uh, if you want to look at it totality, you'll be talking of uh, re regulating the water subsector. Okay. Of, the, of, of, of the country. Uh, specifically, they are talking of all the known water courses. Okay. Okay? Government is trying to look at all those, that federal government now, all these known, uh, known water courses. They will now try to regulate it, and then the longer short of it is kind of uh, putting tax, you know, on them, so that uh, you'll be paying certain bills, you know, as you use some of these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, facilities that you are going to use them. As, as, as we speak now, people don't really understand at the end of the day how it's going to look like. Even the, the state government, let's take the states for instance. I think Kaduna and, the, and Lagos already have established, or rather about six states now that I'm, that I'm aware of, are already having established, you know, the, the, the Water Regulatory Commission in their various states. domains. Yes. Okay. And uh, specifically Kaduna has already met with certain stakeholders, like the Drillers Association sometimes last year. Basically, about uh, is it July or August thereabout, mm -hmm. they met with the last social Kaduna and all of that, and they have interfaced on what the bill is going to look like. So many people don't really know exactly what this bill is going to look like at the end of the day. That is why some of the states are, are, are trying to have control of certain water courses that are within their domain. The federal government, like the bill currently spells out, mm -hmm. they are the ones that are actually going to have control on all of these uh, these, the, 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 these water mm -hmm. courses. You may even extend it to you, that the that the you you, the, you are coming yeah. so that the, you, I mean, you just mentioned so that you can even crisscross to other states and then begin to make fa make use of such such facilities river rivers and whatever you know uh, grasslands so that you can your your your, your heads can can feed and all of that so this is some of the things that people are actually kicking against but when you bring it down the one the loan layman will understand. Yeah. I think that's the real nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. Most, it's it's the, the states that will yeah. come in with some of this regulation. Mm -hmm. So this commission has been established. You know, they are going to be spelling out exactly how these things are going to be regulated, uh, the kind of impact people are going to get, and all of that. For instance, that, that, that's at the state level we're talking that about. That's the state level. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's eventually going to go to states. I just okay. told you that I'm aware of states, six states in Nigeria, mm -hmm. specifically Kaduna, Akanu, and uh, Lagos. They are already having this commission established. And then, of course, in due course, you begin to hear these bills. I mean, these things coming out. I mean, in terms of how. You you, know, okay, let's 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 look at the uh, objectives of the uh, Water Resource Bill uh, 2020. We're talking about. We're meant to understand. I mean, 
uh, include citizens' rights of access to, to safe water and basic sanitation, meeting the basic human needs of present and future generations, promoting equitable and affordable access to water, and reducing poverty, uh, protecting the water environment for sustainability of the resources and protection of aquatic ecosystems, and recognizing the polluted pace principle, promoting the efficient, sustainable, and efficient use of water in the public interest, among others. If these are the objectives of this Water Resource Bill 2020, isn't this things that the state should be doing? Both. For instance, the last time we had the National Water Summit, sometimes in 2003 or thereabouts, mm -hmm. you know, we would we try to find out the, the, the kind of water problems and situations that are there in the country. What are, what are, how many functional water schemes we have in Nigeria, in Nigeria. at that time? Yeah. At that time, there were about uh, over, over 100,000 non-functional water schemes. Water schemes. Okay. In case of boreholes, you know, uh, small dams and all of that, all those areas where people would have naturally been enjoying, like we do, we know today, no. if government is spelling out all of this, if that is a business objective, how well has government actually assisted it, both federal and state? states? Do we have public water supply today? Has government been desilting its dams and rivers and, or, and, and otherwise? How well has government have done those things that people would call big social basic amenities? Are people enjoying them? You see, people are even complaining. Rather, they, they help themselves into some of these things. For instance, you do your boreholes, you, 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 you generate your energy to power your borehole and all of that. Then somebody comes out to say, you are going to be paying for that. Pay for for that instance, the, yeah. the, the state water board have been able to provide public water supply. Yeah. It will be metered to your house directly. And then you just pay. But you don't need to go you, and start constructing. You don't, know to buy, you don't have to go and start constructing borehole. But this time around, you make your own effort. Yeah. You sink a borehole. And then somebody comes to tell you, because you are sacking you water in your house, you have, you have to pay. So double taxation here. You pay for the cost of diesel to run the bubble, and you pay the cost of maintaining your bubble. You strike the water, that maybe sometimes you may want to treat it and all of that. So this is some of the burden that people are going to have over time. Otherwise, it would have been okay if government say, well, because uh, there are rivers, there are streams, mm -hmm. there are all of that, within the government want to be sure that these waters, you know, you don't just, they are poisonous on the surface, they, they need to have you know, cleaner ways of having them get to the people. You don't take raw water. So for that reason, government will have to perfect these things before they begin to tell you what to do. That is what they are doing. They are going directly, our people are already being to specify what they are going to be enjoying or what they are not going to be enjoying. High is, is going to impact on them. We only have enough taxes in Nigeria. And now you are coming to bring in this obnoxious tax. That is why people criticize it. I understand when I spoke to people, how many people, when you do, do they really call stakeholders, come and discuss? Yeah this bill like we know when the when it went in there look at the, the speed with which it went through the house of representatives, representatives. Be, before you know it house of the whole have sat they have they have, they have looked at it you know it, it's not been gazetted before you know it you come to states i understand that Kaduna state is yet to gazette its own its own bill Dito lagos i don't know if i said that it is to gazette yes, yes, some yes. of these bill like the state that i told you i i know i know at the moment yeah. so so it's like the whole thing is truly a mystery nobody knew exactly how this thing is going to look at the end of the day. What, but what, what, what in, in a normal layman like mm. who are on the street are already talking is that at the end of the day, the government is going to be telling you, well, we we'll eventually get water to your house, and this is going to be the cost. But if you're able to get your own central water supply, you're also going to be... Well, well the, the, this, this goes beyond the water, because uh, Section 13 of the bill uh, states, and I quote, in implementing the principles under subsection 2 of this section, the institutions established under this act shall promote integrated water resources management and the coordinated management of land and water resources. Get it now. Of land and water resources, surface water and groundwater resources, river basins and adjacent marine and coastal environment and upstream and downstream interest. That is federal government. That is exactly what the bill is saying. That is exactly what the federal government has succeeded in translating. Now, that the, the issue is thus. Because the people are saying for those who are kicking against this bill, yes, because I'm sure you've had the middle belt for the middle belt for we'll the south and really. what have you, I mean, various forum are kicking, and the argument is that if we need to go this way, at the end of the day, it means the water behind I mean your backyard, the land around it, the federal government will decide who will utilize it, and of course you know people are quick to say oh 
Okay, the plan is hard, man. It's always quick. I mean, when issues of uh, water and uh, environmental resources comes up, people are always quick. I don't know why people are always quick to always mention the full and the heart man. That, okay, the federal government would decide to say, okay, this place is allotted to certain heart men. And, I mean, is that, is that, should that see, be what you see, look at? You, you see, for instance, if the government is saying that we, we are going to be concerned about fresh waters across the country. Yes. And then we'll be able to mark out, we know the... The, ge the geography which which it, it trans transmits around the country. Around, yeah. They may say one million kilometers or something like that for river courses mm -hmm. within the country. And they may say, okay, we are going to be looking at all of that and then we are going to do dams. That is federal government. I'm just giving as an example. Yes. This is what they are telling us. They are going to do dams. They are going to be desilting some of these water courses, mm -hmm. make them habitable, make them portable, and then they will be telling the states, we'll make it look good. So if you are going to tap from here to go to that place, for instance, to, to reticulate yeah, yeah. to a particular environment, you are going to be paying us the federal kind of government. Then on the other hand, the state is now going to say, okay, because I've taken over from here, I'm going to reticulate to my state, okay. and then by extension, I will connect it to various homes, then I'm going to be charging this permit and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think there has been a, a clear cut, you know, demarcation as to what to do. What I've just seen on the surface yeah. is government spelling out on that bill that they are going to take over all the water courses within the country. Mm -hmm. So that is why it's so upstream, big. Upstream, yeah, upstream, yeah, upstream. Yeah, that, that, that all of it. Marine and coastal environment. All of it. No, of course, state ought not to have gone into marine and coastal environment. No, it's the federal, it's the law now. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Now, federal. it has completely taken over. That's why I say water, everything mm -hmm. that has to do with water. If you take Miwa, for instance, the National yeah. Highway, we do a lot of talk and all yeah. that. Then you already know the act that establishes what they should do. For, for instance, which we don't and see them doing, we don't see them do it. And if there are government, there are a lot of, there are a number of, uh, you know, art dams in this country, concrete dams, very big dams around the country, just laying fun. Government has not actually applied the, the utilization of this of this massive mm. art dam. Of course, some of them are already used to generate power. Some of us know these big dams are today are being used to generate powers. We know that government is also at, at the state level and even at federal government, they are they are, they are, they are transferring waters from from these dams you know, to treat, to, to distribute to, to people and all of that. So this is, this is enormous. So I think they need to bring out a clear cut demarcation mm -hmm. as to who, who, who controls what. If government is coming out wholehearted to say this is what they are going to do, mm -hmm. then I don't know whether it's going to affect domestically, like what you just said now, when there is one stream that runs across your house. Yeah. So will it be okay for you to just reticulate to it okay. and, and begin to apply it? Or do you just reticulate? Let it to take, take water in your house as it drops down. You put some filtration system. Will it be okay like that? Nobody come and harass you. Do you do a borehole in your house? Is it federal government that's coming to take you fees, or is and it the state that's no. coming to ask for charging yeah, fees? Big, big but I know that what they are saying at the end of the day, once these various uh, regulatory commissions yeah. are set up, they will not be asking the block industry man. He has to come and register. The borehole driller, for instance, probably will have to come and register. You that construct a bond in your house will come and identify so yourself. And of course, they, they may be visiting home to register all of that. Water treatment facilities will come and register. You, you, you begin to see it's already a tax system. You are already being emasculated to get you even to do their own bidding. Oh, so and, and, and it's supposed to have been, you know, those days, you know, we we grew up to see water supply. Even even yeah. even when there are very difficult situations to, to, to treat water. Yeah. Then it was just sun and carbon and some open filtration systems. And we were okay. Today you have very modern ways of treating of, treat, of treating water, which is making it more easier to treat and so and, you know, and, and, and then you, you know, I ask that question because the antagonists of the of this bill are saying the bill seeks to bring all water resources, surface underground, and the banks of the water resources, um, which some are saying is the intent of the drafters of this law, under the control of the federal government through its agencies to be established by the bill. You know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. That is why the last time we had cause to discuss this, yeah. I, I was kind of not too disposed to supporting what those guys were doing. Why because it was it was so it was narrow mm -hmm. to a particular group yeah. that is the middle bird for okay. that came out to criticize the south side. Yeah. Otherwise the south. otherwise you may want to recall that each time you talk of Ruga, yeah. they look at the president. Oh, he's a full animal. He's bringing in Ruga stuff and all of that. Yeah. I don't want to look at it like that. I want to look at it broadly. That was even in the issue of Ruga because we know yes. it was National I Livestock Transport Transformation Plan. Yes, I know. National Livestock Transformation, Transformation Plan, Plan is a novel idea. Uh, and and know, people who say those trees. who came with the name of Ruga were the people who were. No, no, the, who the European. European. It was the it, 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 it European, you know, who actually brought the Ruga. No, I mean Ruga. those who named 
the National Livestock Transformation Plan, yes. Ruga. Yes. I remember Professor Jibril um, uh, Ibrahim came out and yes. said it was the intent of those who are against this National uh, Livestock Transformation Plan just to kill it, decided to give it that name. And the moment the name Ruga was given to it, mm. because in our client, people said when you say Ruga, they just felt it's a full and he, uh, well, which is not even, mm. which is not even. So could this also be the same things we are seeing? Already they have played politics into it. You see, it is simple for government exactly. to say, yeah, it's, exactly. It is simple for government to say, well, because of this national transport, trans I mean, the uh, national uh, transmission plan, plan yeah. our, our, Riga, our Riga, uh, establishments are, are going to be, you know, even Zambara have, have, have taken off their consumer, their yeah, consumer and you, Kano, and so many other people. Mm. What does this Ruga stuff mean? It means that there is going to be a large hectare, there is going to be a market for grazing. And already we know in, 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 in those days, in the, in the 60s and also so part of 80s, we had over 100 or something yeah, you know, grazing reserves 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 across the country. Yeah. Predominantly, grazing reserves. And some reserves. of them are pulled off now. They, they, they have been sold out to people. So, yeah, so even the normal, the normal, the normal full and headsman cannot even do his normal transition, yeah. you know, to go to, to, to good pasture, mm -hmm. to, go and, to go and feed his stock. Because already where he's going to, you know, part, where he's That's going true. to take through yeah. the, 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 Ruga, the route the roots. for him to get to his place, as today is far. So for him to pass through, they say it's encroachment. These are some of the problems that, that they have in terms of, you know, moving around mm -hmm. to feed their stock. But because you're not going to bring in a system of feeding those stock by this regard stock, you're going to be doing of, uh, 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 how you are going to graze goods. Uh, make their milk, uh, you mean you, you end up setting up meat and then you end up setting up uh, meat, 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 meat facilities, yeah. you process milk, you process uh, meat, so you, you now be transporting them to areas where you have your, your market, you know, mm -hmm. you don't need to be slaughtered in normal slaughter like we see there, they'll be done in farms, as it's done in, 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 in Europe. It's, it's, a, it's a noble idea, but unfortunately our people here are looking at it myopically, you know, saying no, if somebody the, for some innate ambition is because mm -hmm. of that, that's right. Really. So, to give to the hatman. There's hatman, and that is a way of getting them to a, to, to a mass land mm -hmm. and all of that. You know, the controversies that came up in uh, in Bailey, those who were saying that ah, if uh, Otom is an APC man, and then the president is saying that okay, any state that is participating, they should, they should indicate so that they can come and participate yeah, in the local stuff. Land. And the man came out and it became a war between them and Tom. Okay, let, let, so let, it's let, so sad that uh, there uh, was no harmony among them that. Let, as let to how those be, things are going, are going to be done. But, but still on this bill, and I've said it, for instance, those who are kicking uh, against it, for instance, see it as if it is a kind of a, a conspiracy by the North, especially the so-called, the people who are into um, uh, animal farming, for instance, against them. We know the fishery sector is there, among several others. As we are speaking today, we have a lot of abandoned earth dams yes. all around Nigeria. Yes. As we are speaking now, no state in Nigeria that can actually supply pipe bomb water yes. to even 40% yes. of its population. Yes. Shouldn't, and as we are speaking now, the bulk of the House of Rep members are Northerners. The bulk of the senators are Northerners. In fact, if you want to take it to the federal level, the majority of the of the of the ministers at the federal level, the, you can say even the, even the even even the civil servants. Mm. Again, when you talk of the landmass, the North has almost I mean seventy five to eighty percent, if not more, of the landmass. Mm. In terms of population, the same thing. Shouldn't state be concentrating more on those abandoned earth dams to revive them as against this law now that let's, is generating this let, let, Let's look at it this way. Mm. If you take, I told you that uh, there was this National Water Summit that was done in 2013. Okay. So 20, 2003 National Water Summit. Okay. They tried to look at uh, abandoned water projects across the country. Mm. And I told you that it was, we had, we, we, it was estimated that over 120 something thousand water abandoned water projects, water project. Project. be it borehole, be it and all of that, you know, that was what was calculated. This simply means that most of the air dams that are scattered across the country well. are being done by federal government. And as I speak with you now, some of these dams are being utilized to generate power. Some of them are being used for irrigation schemes. Okay. So these are some, and, and again, the north, you know, housed the, the, mo the most number of Freshwater fresh beds. Uh, I was going to fresh water beds in, 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 in Nigeria. Okay. okay, so that simply means that you, if you utilize the existing air dams you have and concrete dams you have, which of course most of them are designed for irrigation schemes and never for possible water supply, because each time you do a dam, you begin to construct treatment facility that you can transfer water to wherever you are taking it to. 
you want to recall that the one that was done not too long ago was the one that was that was transferred from the Gurara Dam to Lua Usma that it feeds water to the Muzuba Dam yes. to target Abuja, Abuja, Abuja and Ebaro, yes. for instance. Yes. So that is why, you see, Abuja is relatively okay in terms of, you know, portable water supply by the government. That, okay? That, yeah, because of that, that transfer. Center. Yeah. Because the suburbs are still... No, we are still talking, I'm telling you that, let's, let's take the one we know. Okay. That, that lower Unsa that has been yeah. expanded, you now have water from Durara, which was transferred to Loa Suma, uh, Loa Suma, 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 and then of course it was, it was now taken to Abuja yeah. to, 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 to supply the, the, the inhabitants there. Yeah. So that, that one is working. Mm -hmm. And then again, in that uh, Gurara, they are taking about a 3 kd of water of flight mm -hmm. to our Kaduna here, behind us here, to the, the, the Kudenda, mm -hmm. Kudenda area. Mm -hmm. it, it, very soon that one will be commissioned. And again, it has facilities mm -hmm. for irrigation. No, 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 this no, 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 no whatever it is, let, let, let it take it on the surface yeah. for, for ease yeah. of discussion. Yeah. So, that, so that, yeah. and again, there, could, there will be irrigation schemes within that belt again, yeah. and then for fishery. So these are the, the, the benefits that some of these things have. Today, government is saying it's trying to take over all of these things. For me, there is no problem. Let me tell you why I get I get bad. You see, during the days of uh, Audubaco, yeah, let's say Kano, for Kano instance, States. in Kano, mm. he made he amassed sixty thousand hectares of arable land in Kano, yeah. a, a place called Kadawa. Kadawa. That's and then the target where they get their water supply is from the Tiga Dam. The Tiga Dam transfer water to the that uh, Kadawa yeah. Kadawa belt, yeah. and then sadly, sadly, between that time and today, only twenty thousand hectares is being utilized today, and you have you have opportunity to extend. You know, channels, canals. Mm. You know, for 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 further for further utilization of uh, of irrigation schemes. Youths are willing to work out there, but today they are on their own. They are doing shifting cultivation. You see, they on their own. The little area where the water had gotten into, they 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 they, they, they exchange. Some particular group will come and say, "Well, I will do this one. because it's so beautiful that in 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 in, in two three seasons." They grow maize and rice. Yeah. Very beautiful. You need to be there. So lush green all over the place. So why didn't government cash in on this? If you go to Bagulori, it's wasting away. The whole country that was designed to do irrigation scheme is wasting away in Bagulori. So these are some of the things we are saying. If in, you go to in, in Brenungwari, we have a dam. Don't don't and talk about don't talk about it. Don't look because look, of the security. Carofi, there are so many ad, I'm, I'm not so talking, many ad I'm not saying I'm not talking of uh, ad dams that you can just uh, construct. Yeah. For animals, you know, this uh, feeding of animals and yeah. small for domestic uh, water supply and all of that. No, no, no. I'm talking of concrete dams that are designed specifically to transfer millions of liters of water yeah. to, to, to over urban centers. Mm -hmm. And in the process, they generate electricity. And then you do fishery there. And then you do irrigation schemes. What is government doing? How well have they utilized that? All they are interested in. Already it has been done. For government to establish, you know, such large country dams, Using using it to to, to to generate energy and, and all of that, you know, transferring water. It means there's a law already establishing it. Why do you need again to emasculate people by setting up this uh, uh, this, this, this system? And then, this and, then, and then and then and then and then before you know it, it, it within a twinkle of an eye, it has gone through all the three readings. It has come out today. It's been gazetted before you even know what is happening. So this has become was saying, and there are other areas where government would have put in their own emphasis to make sure these things are out for for people yeah. benefit. But this one is already generating controversy. Why the state government, why the federal government is saying they are going to have total control of these water courses? The state government are also concerned on how they are going to be charging people for, for their for the for the reticulated water and all that. Because already some of these state government have taken what bank loans and then they are already transferring water, what, what they call locally, black pipe. You know that's what they call it. These are the source pipes. That's what they call them locally. These black pipes already been transferred in most states. You see them being reticulated and all of that, examined, buried and, and, and that. So, so at the, the end of, some of the pipes have been buried for years now. Yes, no, 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 what, that's what I'm saying. So these are the, a lot of money, you know, billions of dollars have been sunk into efforts, you know, to get this water to the people. At the end of the day, it's not getting there. Then you now struggle, you build a house, you want water, yeah. the government is not giving you water, and then you all is, all is just, you know that the pipe will run across your house, mm -hmm. and then they, they put some, some concrete kind of a pot to, it's very base that they are going to put a, 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 a water meter, meter whatever there, yeah. which of course not even running, bringing out water, talk of the, the meter and all of that. And at the end of the day, they tell the ball you are sunk in your house, and they are going, to, be, to, they are going to pay for it. And then behind your house, where it still runs across, mm -hmm. then you cannot even put, 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 put a suction there, and then drag it out right. to, to reticulate for you to, 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 to bring to her. And they say, no, 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 if you do that, we'll come and look at it and then charge you. So there's a lot of problems. Yeah, so for me, water treatment, yeah. I would say, is the most simplest 
thing to do because as it is today, we are not talking of water salinity. No, and most of this water, the water that we are talking today, they clean. They have a mechanism for cleaning out themselves. Oh, yeah. If you have a rainfall today, you have a you have a, a, a flood runoff, pollutes the water, gives a couple of hours, it will clean up and it's, it's, it's clean again because okay. it all runs out and it's clean. So you have very little to to desalinate and do all you need to do yeah. to get the water ready for people to 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 to, to, to especially to, to, in this part of the country, country where fresh water is exactly so so, so government need to get water to the people before it begins to talk of the, the of, of, of what how you are going to charge them and, and all of that okay let's take a quick break uh when we come back it seems even those who are antagonizing this bill are not antagonizing it bringing out some of these issues raised some of them using abusive language against certain region of the country don't go away, we will be right back. All right, welcome back. Thank you for being there. We are looking at the uh, National Water Resource Bill 2020 and the issues around it. And our guest today is a water, a practicing water, trained and practicing water engineer, talking about engineer Musa Idris. What? And you know, we've talked about several issues there, but let's look at the antagonist of this bill. Of course, you've raised some of the uh, pros and cons of this, and there seems to be a lot of cons in this, as it is, because it's like the drafters of this law don't even think it through. At state level, there are so many things to do that has not, that are, that has not been done, that have not been done. At even regional level, there are so much that should have been done that are not being done. But again, for those who will say, this might be a northern agenda to take over to take over water bodies and the coastal uh, environment even within the south. For those within the north central, for instance, mostly you have people from Koji, I mean, uh, I mean Benue, talking about this. But I always tell people that if you go to Lokoja, that is just inside the the the, the confluence, you will see. Yes. Koji, Lokoja is inside the confluence, you will see. You can say not even up to 30% of people in the weather have access to fiber water, which ordinarily shouldn't be a problem uh, uh, for them. So could it be lack of knowledge on the part of those who are antagonizing this? Because somebody, somebody doesn't even know that a place like Taraba, I mean a place like Kebi, a place like Boronu, mm -hmm. live within water, <laughs> water area. It will surprise you to know that uh, the kind of that Yes, in Niger in, State. In Niger State. You know, it came through Niger. That is why the, there is agreement between us mm. and Niger when they had to dam the kind the kind of okay. Today we are having electricity coming by a thousand megawatts coming out from uh, from, 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 from the kind Even from though the, the bulk of Niger State don't have power supply. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. These are the areas that I'm saying government need to really concentrate, ensure that these facilities are working. Then they begin to deal out, bring out the, the relevant laws. For instance, Kaduna State. Yeah. Already there is a. I think there is a uh, Dr. Dogara also is heading the regulatory commission here, yeah. here in Kaduna. And then, of course, stakeholders through the state government have sensitized relevant stakeholders to what, what they should expect. These are the kind of interface I'm saying that federal government would have done. Okay. Because the. I'm, I'm not that I'm supporting, you know, the obnoxious. You know taxes that are going to come up eventually okay. but i think at the end of the day they may put up a master plan whereby they will utilize all the various border or, or, i mean uh, what, what water bodies they have with, within the state yeah. to the maximum use of its citizens because water body in Kaduna has been commercialized maybe due to other states in Nigeria, but that simply means that it, it is within water boards you know is law establishing it you know they can now treat Kaduna state you know they have about uh, how many water uh, but the, I mean, treatment facilities around, for instance, mm. if they treat, they can dispose. Once they meter, they attempted this some, some couple of years ago. Yeah. The, the projects have failed. If they had succeeded in treating water, and then they now treat portable water to your house, of course, they tell you the charge, you pay. You pay, okay. And then, you know, though they choose to be free, yeah. public water supply, if they say today you pay, no problem. But what we are saying is that where they fail to give you portable water supply coming from government, which of all it is cheaper. It's just like when you say you, you, you have a 12.5 kg in your house just to for, for your for your for you and your family. Like, yeah. and you can have your two, three ACs and all the light points and all of that. And you manage to do that. When you know it would have been cheaper if never had brought in their their their, their yeah, public power supply. Public power power supply, for instance, it would have been cheaper because you are you are reaching out so many so many people. 
So if they can come out and demarcate and bring out this thing, certain things for people to understand mm. at what point are they coming to support government in terms of paying taxes. Who will understand that? But the situation where they, 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 they fizzle out, you don't even see them, some, some people will just come with some form in your house mm. and say, we understand you have a ball here, fill this form, so, subsequent after this, you'll be going to be paying. Because just my neighbor, as I was driving out this morning, they brought in uh, this new bill that's coming out. Okay. Somebody who used to pay three thousand five hundred yeah, for power supply for, for the yeah for power supply yeah. for this uh, meter the, yes. this one they call uh, the one you, you, you don't receive yes. what they call that one the, the uh, post I mean, post no, not post paid the other one uh, the POS no the uh, other the, which one is the, that? the the one you, they just write for you you don't pay that one you don't uh, post pay you don't use this thing to pay uh, yeah, okay. the one they write now I don't know anyways viewers know what I'm talking about okay. they, they never just come to you they they charge you directly. Okay, you know, okay. and then they ask. What do they call the bill? Uh, what is it called? Whatever it is. Yes. So, so, so somebody who was who was paying three five, he said to today he's paying about twenty five thousand naira. You look at the astronomic rate, rate, and then we understand that this 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 uh, discourse, mm. they have not put a dime, you know, into yes. the facilities. Estimated billing. Yes, estimated billing. Yeah. They have not put a a dime into the the facilities they inherited. These are the problems. How do you expect somebody to gladly pay you twenty three thousand naira about a thousand naira? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, cost over and above what you used to pay. When he's thinking about to buy a bag so, of so these are the issues. The same thing is what is going to apply to this bill. But my worry is that mm. if government bring out a well total plan mm. for this Ruga system, I think we should support it. I don't could no. no let, I mean, let's not forget the issue of Ruga because I mean that is a broad issue. Let's see how that plays. Out. But this bill, this water resource bill, because most of the people are antagonizing it. Have even gone to this extent of even insulting a region, for instance. And now somebody, somebody who is seated in uh, Oshun, for instance, doesn't know that um, somebody in Kebi have access to a river more than him, yeah. for instance, mm. have access to water resources more than him, for instance, and, and uh, among other issues. But then, could it actually, that's why I was asking that question, could it be lack of knowledge of the, of, of the whole country that when issues like these are national issues come up, instead of actually, actually looking at it from the national angle, people regionalize it. People ethnicize it. You see, you see. Let's say the whole of Niger Delta. That much I can speak for because yeah. I know, I know the water bodies and and the groundwater what it contains. Yeah, especially the rivers. Yes, they, they, don't, they, don't, they have very few Imo River, and you can you can you can say very few mm. fresh water within the belts of the Niger Delta. Niger Delta. But essentially, they are crisscrossed with what they call salty water. Salty water over there. Mm. Before you get to the fresh water, if you want to do both, for instance, yeah. you spend a lot of money. Sometimes you do as between 500 to 600, sometimes 800 meters, you know, to go deep down to extract, you know, clean fresh water, fresh water. in some of these uh, neighborhoods of the... Of, of, of As the, against of the jobs that you don't need that to... Exactly, that's what that's, that is the, 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 the thing I want to bring now. Okay. But see, and then, and then of course, you can also do shallow, shallow boreholes. Of course, the cost of treating is very high. You know, that is the rainwater that is trapped even before the... Yeah. Before the, the basement proper, the one you tap is that the reason why they harvest water in in, 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 the, in the south south? Exactly, because the one you tap within the overbody mm. is, is is fresh, but uh, but if you go any further down, it will be salty. Yeah, but, because when you construct, uh, what, what do you call it? Water is water, water, water is Yeah, that's what, that's what they do. They have do that. The you see, that is that is what it takes them. Okay. You know, that's how they how 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 difficult it is for them to to find, you know. Portable water, portable water for, for their domestic use. Okay. But you see, in the north, yeah, look at River Niger, look at the river mm -hmm. They flow into River Niger, I mean, sorry, into the ocean. Yeah, you know, with a lot of tributaries. Exactly, a lot of tributaries. These are fresh water. And then you go to, you see a lot of streams, yeah. you know, hand dog wells. They are very portable, they are good for drinking. A lot of people don't really treat hand dog wells. Yeah. Uh, two, three, five meters, you are already there, yeah, yeah. and then you, you can treat it. You go to the far north, you do as, as far as what I did all year round. Meters. Yes, hand dog, water yard and all of that, you, you get that. So these are various water bodies that government today want to incurs into it and begin to charge people. I think people are going to resist this. But you see, if, if, if government will take the big ones, take the big water supply schemes that government have been able to do the dams that already, that already exist. Some of these dams are just lying out there. They are underutilized. Yeah. And then most just, of these things Just like grazing reserves. Yes, most of these things have done away. large reticulated schemes to transfer water mm. to, to, their, to their various various domains. So I think government should concentrate on this. I think it's not good. It's not now going to be between the government and of course the and, and of course and of course, and, and of course the state. So that between the state, the federal government, the state government, and the local government, they have to look at all of this and begin to say this is where the federal government comes in. 
this is where the state government takes off from, and this is where local government takes off from. So by the time you are able to, to marshal this and then have you know, a complete understanding of what you are going to go into, it will not be easy for them to explain to their various citizens. Yeah, various Otherwise, people are going to be reading meanings to it, people are going to be coming to be criticizing this and all of that. But for me, if you, if you say you want to just attack directly and then pull out revenue that is your interest from it, I think you're not going to fly. People are not are going to resist it. You just be sending your bills there. People will keep on doing. Except you are going to shut down somebody's homes because you already extracted bone. He buried it somewhere within his house there. I don't know why you're going to force yourself to get there because he has tracked the water there through his own effort, through his own generator. So I don't know how government want to really but, look at all of this. Okay, but that, that, that may be away from this. Even though you didn't talk about the those who are antagonizing. Uh, no, I told you that if you if if they say, if they have brought up on the sentiment, yeah, the sentiment that the, the middle belt uh, forum and, uh, are, are coming with that, uh, uh, we, have, we have said it sparingly. Uh, you know, if you are saying because uh, it is because of the Ruga store, because the president is a full animal man and he's doing it essentially to get the full to go and own lands, water bodies in other clients away from the north, then I wouldn't understand what that's talking like that. If they have come and put people together and they had discussed and understand it properly, no. what this all meant. Yeah, you can begin to understand why people are coming together to understand themselves on what government is doing. Okay. But that isn't the case. But few people are saying, no, this thing that they are trying to do, this war that is coming out, it is because the president is interested in entrenching the full and the people on the people. And they keep on making emphasis on this. That, that stuff we read, may and you, that, that, that this little belt people are, are talking, this yeah. antagonist stuff, mm -hmm. it's just all about that. But that is not true. But let's look at the taxes that government is, at the end of the day, Government just want to take off revenue from the people on, on this one. On this. That is why they have they have said all water bodies, all of them. Yeah. You take from anywhere that water water comes out from anywhere. They will say it is their interest. But you see, even even like this thing that just happened recently, you know, all this flood that happened all over in Kebbi, yeah. all over the place, floods. What is government doing about all of that? We see we see in Kebbi State. I mean, thousands and thousands. You see, because, of rice it, farms it, because lost. have they how well have they utilized those you know these existing dams? They are run into hundreds of millions of liters, wasting away. Do people fish there? They're damaging even. Do people fish there? Mm. You know, are, are they dissolving these dams? No, they are not. You can't just go into any dam or any water and take those and begin to drink it because it's poisonous. They have not been dissolved. These are some of the things. You see water hyacinths, all kinds of foreign water bodies, float runoffs, come into the stream, uh, physics, you know, people discharging you know, sewages into these uh, stagnant uh, situations and all of that, you know, refuse being discharged into all of it. What has government done about all of that? You know, so this is this. If government had, had sanitized all of these, you know, situations, then you will understand. If government come with a, with a hammer and say, look, I've been able to do this much. All these water bodies here around here, between this place and this place, we've been able to deceive this. Between this place and this place, this is what we are doing. The waters are good and all of that, and we are doing, we are transfer water. Well. Then you see, yeah, government making effort. But no, the same thing as still as they are. No, Today, if there is a flood anywhere, mm -hmm. you need to go around and see how messy yeah, everywhere yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. How much have they, how much drainages have they done to control these water courses that are that are, that are filtering into people's homes and, and, and causing destruction? Okay. Are they able to, to do that? All right, in general, those are issues. Okay, that, that brings us to the issue because you mentioned the issue of uh, buffalo. Uh, I remember the, the other time concerns were raised that at the rate people are constructing uh, boreholes will actually have effects on the water itself and even the environment itself. I know people who have raised concerns about, professionally even, we still have people that have um, pit latrines, but you see boreholes being constructed very close to such places. You see, but the major concern is people have raised the issue of that the way we construct boreholes today will actually affect the, the strata of the, of the of the earth system. I'm happy you're using the word strata. Maybe you are beginning to add, you, are, you are trying to be an engineer or a geologist. <laughs> you see, I, I did you see, I'm interested in this thing because um, in Kaduna, yeah. there is a drillers association. That, 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 that says, yeah. okay. the, the state government recognizes the drillers, the association. State drillers association. Okay. Yeah, because the role they play, they ensure sanity in the construction of all. Unfortunately, people go for cheap. Water courses. That's the problem we have here. No let, me, let me let me let me no professionals. Let me give you how it is like in Kaduna. Okay. The average depth for for a borehole in Kaduna higher is about 45 meters. You can do 25 meters, you can do 30 meters, okay. average depth. Okay. You you get some water, but that is within within the overboarding. 
Okay. By the time you get to the basement, you are now going to 35 to 40, 40. sometimes more than that, before you are going to sedimentary basin. Okay. And in all of this, you are extracting good water. Okay. But you see, unfortunately for us, like you are talking about people are trained, there are certain boreholes or certain, you know, strata, by lot of the strata that are, that are so porous. Uh, you have a pit latrine like, nearby, it's it raining, it gets mushy. Or they all go some away. Yeah, exactly. The porosity nature allows some seepages into that water that, that, water that you are that, that, that extracting. That is the danger there. Because if we are drilling, if you may, sometimes in Kaduna there are 10 meters up to 25 meters as over body. Okay. These are just sedimentary situations. You just drill down on porous environment, which means anything can filter into it. But if an expert gets there to work for you, whether you have my car within that situation, whatever you have to some police area within that environment, mm -hmm. an expert will come, he will cement off that uh, polluted area. Okay. You know, whatever situation you are going to have. He's going to cement off that area by the time you come to case it. Then he's going to now drill proper between the, the basement terrain, that deep there where there's a, a pain aquifer. That's eventually where he's going to stop and extract clean, portable water for you. And, uh, and in all of this, if you bring out the water, you may be putting subjecting to some element of treatment, treatment so okay. that you can you can but most people don't even go into that that is why people who sell pure water i'm happy that some of them are beginning to become to us begin to belong to association and of course again for us it's an advantage to us if government is going to register these pure water sellers or yeah. or, or, or yeah, it's manufacturers it's it's water, or, or whatever at the end of the day i know that there are going to be a lot of visitation and know exactly what are their water sources for treating the water they give you to do, and how well do they employ the treating mechanism, you know, for, for water they give for, to, to make it portable for people to begin to supply. So it's, that's why it's going to be an advantage to us that, that, that professional drillers. Mm -hmm. So if that is done, you are sure that at the end of the day, whatever gets to people is portable, okay for domestic uses, and all of that. So, but before then, what is government doing? How are they assisting people? It is just enough for you to say you cannot drill there. You cannot bring this one there, you cannot do that. These are the things we are going to look at. The things that we are, we, are, we are going to look at. Because as it is today, it's so loose. Anybody just come up, you want to, because he's building a some, some people even do it along the street. Yeah. Yeah. Not minding the fact that there are going to be road construction there. All they are interested in is, 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 is borehole. Yeah. And the way you are also talking of the excise, the water, water excise. Yeah, it does excise, for instance. I know a neighbor who were. A couple of years ago, it excites, but it has a charge itself. It does do like that. Okay. It does excise what they may, they may call it dries up. Okay? Mm -hmm. If it's excised up, it dries up. After, you know, he got to how he does this thing, then, you know, it recovers itself again, okay. and then you, you begin to use it. Okay, wow. the, 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 the constant usage of a normal bubble flushes it, cleans it properly. That's why it's good if you have a bubble, you need to utilize it most often okay. as it recharges okay. as it recharges it cleans us up properly okay but our worry is that at what depth are you even extracting the water anyway these are some these are some of the, some of the, some of, some of the issues that are actually there so for us this regulation if you look at it objectively mm -hmm. i think it's probably going to sanitize the system, the system. but not not the tax element that yeah. tax element is a problem but if the regulation is coming to say look if you must do a bubble engage an expert let him come and tell you. Let him do your survey. People don't even do survey. A survey, what they call a geological, a, a geophysical survey, will come and tell you you are going to get water at this depth. But before it tells you that, it tells you you are going to encounter overboarding. You know, tell you the, the subsurface of the of the geodetic situation of that area. It will tell you all of this. By the time it tells you all of that, you know exactly where it's going to tell you. You are going to start, you know, encountering, you know, uh, crystalline basement or basement situations or sediment or whatever. Surveys are going to tell you. At the end of the day, it will tell you how you are going to get the water. And then you, 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 you permit all of this. But today, nobody cares about that. People are so loose in drilling boreholes all over the place. That is why people say, oh, borehole water, oh, this one, oh, that. You know, because people are, are not uh, regulated. So if this commission comes up, they regulate this. I'm not saying that people listening to me. I'm not, I'm not supporting government to, to put the news. Yeah, tax people. On, on, on tax. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm talking of the regulation. For us, it's going to be our advantage. If you are regulated, it's okay for us. And then find out who are those sachet water producers. Mm -hmm. How well do they employ the modern system of treating sachet water? Is it okay? Do a visitation. Get them to register with the commission. That's some of their some of their, their duties. What they are going to be doing. Mm -hmm. They will register the 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 the, 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 the commissions. I mean the 
the sachet water producer, the person molding block, he had forgotten that you are taking water from 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 flood runoff that had been that had been collected there. Yeah. You had forgotten that if you are taking water from a polluted environment, that is going to is is going, going to make the the block not to be strong. Not to be strong. Okay. Yeah, because that water that is polluted is going to is going to be acidic. Okay, to, to, okay. The to the cement. So it's, 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 it's going to call a crop purple. So you are not going to have strong blocks. That is why even if you build with it, after a time, it will just... Uh, building collapse. Exactly. These it's are some of the things we are having. So if you are going to use water to make blocks, you are going to use portable water. The one that you may even drink. drink. That's what they will use for that. So I think the regulation comes up, and these are some of the things I are going to be checking. Okay. They look at block industries, they look at all other areas, even even bakery. Bakery, they need water. You need to see where, what, what is their source of water. How do they utilize their water there? Anywhere you go to, the meat shops, the I mean the quarter, mm -hmm. what they call the what's the other one for quarter? Yeah, slaughter. The slaughter. Slaughter slabs and. No, the other one for slaughter. Um, what's the one? I've forgotten now. And abattoirs. The abattoirs. Yeah. The abattoirs. They're going to visit them, ensure that how do they get their water? Because it's so sad. The other day there was this I went dealer on social media. Somebody selling Ricky. He just went and dumped. Yeah, dumped them in the river to wash. This is what yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? By way of rounding about and it's prospect. That brings us to, I'm sure you must have noticed that. Um, we have people who break stones. You go to some environments, the stones are flat surfaces, and sometimes we go relax on them. But by the time these people start breaking the stone, it gets to the extent that they become a deep gorge. Yes. That at the end of the day, when rain falls, rain, I mean, gather in such places, that sometimes we will have people within community who fall into it and die. Shouldn't we be regulating at what that shows? I mean, stone breakers get you. This is a very Even with this, this, this is a very interesting one. Mm. I I got this co a consultancy project with the Kano State Government when the, mm. the late president Mumu mm. Musa okay. when he was governor of Kano State. Okay. We 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 did the consultancy and we calculated the number of uh, what they call could do pay. Okay. This thing you are talking about. Yeah. Of, this uh, when stones broken and yeah, they become this, this whole this, 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 this peaks. Yeah. Uh, is a, as a result of extracting mud for building a house. Yeah. Or extracting uh, minerals and all of that. Mm. So they created you know, large storage yeah. for water. Some of them. I had this uh, fauna and fauna and all of that too, poisonous yeah. and all of that. They, you see, you see the coloring is even green sometimes. Mm -hmm. So those things are very poisonous. I see kids walk, taking swimming in, swimming in and all of that. It's yeah. poisonous. These are some of the things that the regulations are going to come up if I understand what this bill is talking about. If that's going to come up, it's okay. And again, this one you are talking. If you go to Joss, I saw a place where today that uh, extraction of of mine, yeah, there's a mine pit that I saw in Joss. Mm -hmm. It's so large, so deep that today is a is a it's a, it's a fish pond. Some individual, maybe through the help of the state government, acquired that, that, that situation. He has a fish pond there to be very large. So you see, that's what I'm telling you that before you apply fish there, you would have desilted that place, you would have, you would have, you would have a, a marked it for such purposes, government call and inspect, satisfy it's okay, and, and, and all of that. So all these things that we are seeing all over the place, government need to come in. These are things government need to do anyway. Federal government, because I, I don't see, see I see because a lot of in Katuna there's a place that the, the, those who are in Katuna will know that there's a place called behind cinema. Okay. When we advise government, I don't know. Some of them were filled up. They turned into public school for the, I mean clay ground. But after they had brought in, you know, sand. I mean latrite. You know, fill it back yeah, and then through the ecological funds and then they they, they, they prepare it for 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 for, for usage. Not just leaving it open like that. Yeah. But when these kids go through some night, sometimes they die inside, yeah. they drink uh, very bad water, and then some of them, they just dump refuse there. Refuse, yeah. And at the end of the day, it, people want to, want to also use that water for domestic use. They fetch water, they wash their cars, they but, fetch but water. But my major concern is even the stone crushers. Yes. Because that, they keep crushing the stones on We are, we are, we are still saying the same thing. Because this, you are talking of granite. Granite. That is where you take it off. That's how you take it. It's, it's okay, so long as government allow them to go and extract granite there. Mm -hmm. They are okay as far as they're concerned. But what government may say, they may say, like the one we have in Malali, yeah. it's a very deep... Yeah, go away here. Yeah, it's a very big, deep one. And it's keep getting deeper. Yeah, they because go in, it, is in easy, it, it is easy for them to do, because already it's, 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 already, it's already in strata. It's, mm -hmm. It breaks easily for them. Yeah. If they just put small light there and eat it, it will scatter and then it will enable them to... Shouldn't there be a limit to which they can It go? is not me that will say that's the limit. I'm saying it is government. Mm -hmm. If they not touch it, they just to say, look, because to fill it back is going to be a problem. Government can put it to use. I just told you now. Government can advertise it 
and get you to come and put it to use to fish ponds, you know, good way of fencing it around, yeah. and they look away that you can also discharge out the water through water courses and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can put some suction, take out water there once in a while, you know, to, to, to sanitize it, and then you, you continue using it. So government can put all this facility into use when this uh, water builds regulation comes over. If this is what they are going to be looking at, mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day we we'll sanitize the system. Otherwise, they don't look at the revenue. I think what they are saying is that, oh, I heard somebody say, oh, because he, at the end of, in Kaduna State, well, for instance, we see they may have over 10,000 bubbles within the metropolis. If you say 10,000 households have bubbles, and then you're already talking of 10,000, whatever amount you are going to put there, and you may be having 100,000 households having bubbles in Kaduna. So if you are going to charge all of them, it's not revenue. Dito Lagos, another city center. So, so this is their interest. Drink, there is more than 1,000. I, 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 I just play, I just play yeah. so that people mm -hmm. don't have the bogus amount. I just, ah, ah, people are going true. to make a lot of money. But if at the end of the day they make money, how will I be able to apply that money? I just, read the, I just read yesterday where the president was justifying why they are taking more loans. Yeah. I mean, you have some of people will be wondering, if you have facilities, you are taking money, so much money, how well have you applied the money you are taking? And now you want to come and approach people and begin to tax them again because okay. you say you are taxing them for, for, for providing boreholes. Yes. And all that. That's just their interest. Why must you have a borehole in your okay. house? Well, government have not given you let's, let's, public water let's, supply. Let's, let's leave it on that uh, because from this, we, are not, we are no more talking strike now. We are talking hikes. So hikes in everything, hikes there, hikes there, and what they do. So well, those are the issues. If you are before now, you are not aware. At least we talked about it. Thanking our guest today, he is a trained and practicing water engineer, engineer Musa Andrews. Engineer, thank you very much. They were coming to eat ram. I don't know whether it's somebody who will give, but whether you, it's, 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 it's just to that's, be that's your offer. That's what they that because you are told that I'm not going to Thank you for investing your time with, with us. Uh, when there's we shall be here, we shall have another guest and be talking other issues. I am Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader. Have a wonderful day ahead. Again, my apologies for the voice. It's a code. But I'm sure my next edition, it will be better. Thank you.